the press launch of the Castrol Melvin Evans Motorsport Rally Team was held at my home golf club, the very picturesque, the Rolls of Monmouth. So we've got the first opportunity to have a close look round the Toyota Yaris WRC2 car for the first time in the UK. And as you can see, it's got the iconic Castrol uh, branding slightly revamped to what we used to have back in the day in the uh, mid 90s. This is some great sideways action from UR and myself in the ST185 Celica back in the day. Now this is something that you don't see so much of nowadays. Of course things have changed a lot. Nowadays we're dealing with a hyper efficient chassis, fantastic suspension travel and grip from these modern day cars which would actually make my car look a little silly. Now come and have a quick look inside. The cars themselves are about 300 horsepower, which isn't bad for an engine that is only 1600 cc and three cylinder. That's why this, the car sounds a little strange, but it's got bags of torque, change gear at 5000 RPM and it just pulls like mad. The Yaris WRC2 car has already had some great success in Rally of Sweden this year. It took the first ever fastest stage time overall for a WRC2 car, beating all the hyper efficient Rally 1 variants just shows how good these cars are. When you look at these new cars, the internal of the car is just stripped out completely. None of the fancy buttons, knobs and switches and everything else that we've got going on. Everything is controlled from the steering wheel and the center console, but everything is designed to be minimalistic, get the weight really low down and less fuss, less clutter. But that's the benefits of a modern car. One other big, big advantage that these cars have, and this is, this is like the, uh, the, the younger brother of the big Rally 1 car, but you can see that the aerodynamics of this car are quite dramatic. So, and the big rear wing as well, it gives the car a lot of downforce. So this car will actually pick up so much more grip than what we used to have back in the day. Of course, time moves on. This is technology for you but I think it's a fantastic looking car. And in this livery, with the new P1 overalls the boys have got, I think they're gonna make a, there'll be a real buzz around this up at the start um, of round one of the British Rally Championship. Initially, there's just one Yaris starting the Northwest stages, and that's for Myrie and Evans. Chris Ingram will be using a Castrol-sponsored VW Polo WRC2 car, and he'll be using that for the first two events. Then from round three onwards, both the guys will be in the fabulous Toyota Yaris WRC2 car. I'm glad to support the guys in their attempt in the British Rally Championship in 2024 with a great looking P1 racewear and steel helmets and intercoms. Good luck guys.